hey guys how you all doing welcome back again it's feather here guys the house is getting ready for the eviction sunday today is going to be hot hot anyway guys all the best good luck to all the housemates standing up for possible eviction z mpumi um larato wishing them all the very best you know that fidel voted for z and i hope um z and um Mpumi will be saved today because i want them to still remain on the game for some time moving forward guys really 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 um a lot is happening in the house a lot of conversation is day two of um Lema's punishment of um you know turning the ribbon back to the whole thing and everything she is still doing it but at some point i was i'm watching her sometimes i'm like when is this girl going back to continue her punishment because she needs to meet up with time as sometimes she gets carried away with g she gets carried away with um jared and she forget that she's she has a whole bucket of four buckets of ribbon that she's supposed to you know fix and all those things i'm wishing her all the best I hope she meets up with time and everything. Lema's only mistake in that house was falling for a deceptive guy. Otherwise, that girl hasn't bothered anybody um, since. Seriously. Um, the insult, the, the gossip in the house. Anyway, I'm not saying is what is expected. They are in the house to play the game and everybody is actually playing a game. But I really do not understand Jared. I don't know if it's, he's probably like probably acting for the camera i think that maybe he's scared or he's just very conscious of 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 what maybe shippers viewers voters are going to say i think if jared move away from Lema, i think um his storyline is going to go down i think that is why he don't really want to dump her like that or all those kind of things he's just you know trying to be smart but i don't understand why lema is still giving him the chance to be all over her being touchy with her kissing her all those things like she's supposed to have boundary at this point but i hope that you know i hope that what she is trying to do is to pay him back if not i don't get the point seriously she was even singing for him in the kitchen like i want you in my life i want you by my side and um, i can't hide these feelings again like you know she has a very nice voice as she's singing it i'm like what a waste of a nice voice and all this lyrics for this deceptive guy anyway it's a game i keep reminding myself that this is a game and they are there to play the game or two million rand is at stake and all that so let's just take it the way it is talking about um z and the whole house you all remember that what brought about this problem is um jared kissing s and mpumi at the same time people need to be like housemates need to be very careful of s because that girl oh my goodness could you guys believe that that girl is claiming that um papa ghost assaulted her like she is laying claim that papa ghost is touch, touched her in a way that she didn't like without her permission you know that kind of allegation can get um ghost out of the house like it, it can disqualify him um it can give him a strike or something like people frown at such things um maybe female housemate being assaulted or something like that and she's claiming like that and when you listen to the conversation of ghost and x you will understand ghost was even saying it's telling x that see you are the one that puts my hand on your boobs and i didn't even make a move to even touch you like you are the one that was being all touchy to me and i still respected you i still didn't you know move too forward with everything you're the one giving me green light uh maybe i misinterpreted the signals or maybe everything and he apologized he keep he kept on apologizing and i know why he is apologizing is because omar is better to be sorry than to be to be kicked out because the claims that um x is making is the allegation is 
it's not something that is very sensitive one to say that somebody touched you without permission somebody was being all touchy and all that so i just appreciated the fact that Papa Ghost was not really like um, claiming right. He was really explaining how everything went down. And he also apologized. And moving forward, I hope that he gives that girl like some miles away. Like stay away from that girl. That girl is there to kick people out of the house. That girl is there to fuck shit up in that house. I think that that girl... Mm -mm, She's not a preacher of love. She can do anything and everything. For her to even have the mind telling Lema that um, um, even without you being there or with you being there, I could have still kissed Jared. Like, she don't care. She don't care about what the viewer said or what. Anyway, it's all game and everything. Who else I don't understand is Taki. Taki is saying that some of the housemates are threatening him. And why I'm not even taking that one seriously, maybe because um, Taki is um, a disruptor. Maybe he's just doing his job. I think he's someone that takes his job seriously because <laughs> the allegation, the first narrative, like anything that happens in the house, Taki and Mitch will be the one spreading all kind of narrative all kinds of narrative in the house but um if he's doing his job as a disruptor you know that it's not just ships that biggie told them to disrupt and biggie told them to disrupt platonic relationship platonic friendship ordinary friends anything just scatter things in the house just you know cause drama in the house and that is why we subscribe anyway guys um i cannot wait to give you updates and just about um what will be happening in the house today the eviction who will be going home and if you voted for z in pumi let me know down the comment section who do you think might be leaving tonight let me see your prediction down the comment section let's have fun down there thank you so much for watching i really appreciate please give me a thumbs up subscribe and stay tuned for more love you guys